welcome back to my channel. It is really lovely to see you. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Emma and I am back with a charity shop haul. It's been a long time coming. As I keep saying every time I start a video, I say I'm sorry it's been so long, but life has just been getting in the way and it's been half term and we just seem to, the days just seem to have gone and because the days are so much shorter now, if I don't film before four o'clock, I can't film, I just can't film in the evening because our house just the the lighting in here is rubbish the, we haven't got we've got all low energy bulbs and they're crap and they just don't throw off a great deal of light so i really struggle so the only time i can film was during the day i didn't want to film when the kids were here so here i am anyway so i promised you a get ready with me video when we went to watch you and cry didn't do that <laughs> Again, it's because I lost so much light, um, but I wore my sequin jacket and I wore it with a sequiny sort of little vest thing underneath, which was from a charity shop haul ages and ages ago. I wore it with a pink fleece skirt, I don't know if any of you can remember. And what else has been happening? I have arranged to have my oven cleaned, which makes me feel like I am winning at being an adult. Um, <laughs> I have half crocheted a hat. I know, I just, I, a few weeks, well, it's probably about the 4th, well, about the 4th, it was the 4th of September, the day that the children went back to school, I came off Facebook, and I came off it for personal reasons, but, um, I have just found that I've got so much more time, because I'm not scrolling through looking at everybody's drivel, and I do miss parts of it, because I don't really know what's going on in the world, but there's a lot of it that I don't miss and because of that I put my crochet hook back up again and I have knit, well I haven't, I've crocheted this which is going to be, <laughs> believe me, it's going to be a hat with a massive pom pom on the top like that. How cool is that? And that literally took me um, how long has that, well it hasn't taken me since the 6th of September but it's just kind of since the 6th of September it's made me realise how much more time I have um, and I've read some books and done all kinds of things that took me Saturday, I did that in the car on Saturday and then when we were travelling somewhere and then a few hours, maybe an hour or two at home and it just literally needs sewing up and um, a pom pom popping on top so if um, the you'll be interested the pattern to this i will try and link down below it's by bella coco and um she knit she knit she doesn't knit oh my god emma it's crocheting she crochets this she has this pattern this is her patented pattern i think and um so i'll link that down below it's super easy if you know how to crochet you will know how to do this and it's crocheted in lines like that so you go across and across and across so it's really, really simple and it's dead quick to get through your rows. So um, I'm really, really super, super duper impressed with that and I can't wait to wear my new woolly hat. Um, so what else have I been doing? So we went to see Human Cry. They were amazing. I absolutely loved them. I don't think even in my sparkly jacket and my sparkly vest, I don't think Greg Kane noticed me at all, even though I was only two rows back. Um, <laughs> as you'll understand what I mean if you watch my last charity shop haul. And I haven't really been doing a great deal else, to be honest. We, Halloween came and went. I don't, I just, I'm not really into Halloween. The last three or four Halloweens, I think, we've spent in Cornwall. And Halloween in Cornwall's a really big deal because it's like, there's like smugglers coves and things and pirates and it's all spooky little streets. And But when you're here, it's just, it's rubbish. And where we live, actually, because we're set back in a, in a, we live in a converted orphanage that, well it used to be a Dr Bernardo's but it's been converted into houses now so it's kind of got its own driveway and from the road it just kind of looks a bit spooky and a bit scary and a bit Hogwartsy. so you know kids really don't want to come up here trick or treating <laughs> so we, we don't get any trick or treaters really which much to my daughter's disappointment whereas when we were in Cornwall we went trick or treating and we got loads of trick or treaters and she absolutely loved it but here I felt like it was a real anticlimax for her this time but we couldn't go away this time because my son has literally he's had exams yesterday and today and um, so straight back into exams sort of his mock A levels so um, so we've been kind of doing all that he's been revising we've been 
um, he's been applied, he's applied to all his universities now, so he's getting offers, and it's like, oh my god. So next year, this time, well not this time next year, but on the run-up to him going off to university, I'll be doing like university halls and, um, you know, buying milk pans. <laughs> not that he would ever buy a milk pan or use a milk pan, but um, I feel like he should have one. <laughs> I keep saying things like, I'll get this and pop it in your bottom drawer. Do any of you know what I mean when I say that? Because I had a bottom drawer. My mum had a bottom drawer for me. And um, it's like the drawer that they put stuff in to save for you for when you leave home. I think it's supposed to be for when you get married, but obviously, you know, it's not about to get married, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, I need to um, buy crockery and cutlery and glasses and bedding and... Uh, he needs to get in first, Emma. He needs to get in first. <laughs> I'm way ahead of myself. So, um, can I just, before I start, I keep putting my tea down, um, give a bit of a shout out. Um, a few, well, it's, God, it's ages ago now. It's probably a couple of months ago. A lady called Kat sent me some jewellery. And she didn't do it for any other reason than she wanted to. She didn't expect me to talk about it or to, it's not, you know, an ad or anything. But um, she has a company called Half the Ocean and you can find her on Facebook and you can find her on Instagram. And her jewellery is very much inspired by um, the ocean. And um, she asked if she could send me some things just because of my love for St. Ives and she loved watching my videos and things. So she sent me a little box of treats. Like I say, it's quite a while ago now. And um, But I have to say, I absolutely love what she sent me and these earrings are part of what she sent me and they're like a little embossed earring and then she sent this ring which has got a letter E on it can you see it and it matches and then she sent me necklaces and oh that bracelet is off her as well it's all handmade and I have worn and worn and worn and I would never have thought of myself as a dangly earring kind of gal yet since I've had these I've done nothing but wear them and she sent me them in three different sizes so I've got a smaller like a littler version and then these and then like a long version and honestly if you look back over my last sort of I don't know how many videos I will have had them in because I absolutely love them and because this part here is sterling silver um, so it doesn't make my ears go manky so I just so Kat thank you so much I absolutely absolutely love them and what blew me away more than anything was the way that everything was packaged Honestly, if you are after something really different for mum or sister or anybody, one of your girlfriends for Christmas or a birthday, oh my God, just go and check out her website. Go and check out, um, I think she's got an Etsy shop. I know that in a couple of weeks she's got a Christmas fair up in York. I'm actually up in York on one of the days that she's got her Christmas fair, so I'm going to go and see her. And I just, I can't wait to see it all in the flesh. And yeah, but they, honestly, I have so many compliments about this ring. And it's just, I absolutely love it. And not only that, but she sent it, I tell you when she sent it to me, it was near my daughter's, it was probably a couple of weeks from my daughter's birthday, so it's like the mid beginning of September. Um, and she sent one for Imogen. So Imogen's got the same one with the letter I embossed onto it, and we absolutely love them. So Kat, thank you so much. And honest, I will link her website down below, or I will link her Instagram page down below if I can. But remember, it's half the ocean, and she's Kat, and she's just, honestly, the most kind, wonderful, thoughtful person to send me these things, and I absolutely love them. So thank you so much, Kat. And I have been charity shop shopping. So I haven't been charity shop shopping for ages. There's a couple of pieces here that were from a haul a few weeks ago that I actually didn't have time to show you because I, I just waffled on so much. And then there's a few other bits and bobs. And I'll do a little bit of a try on and just show you. I think um, what I'm gonna do, I tried a few bits and pieces on last night. Um, more sort of Christmas party bits and bobs. So I'm gonna do at some point a video on how to kind of dress for if you're going to a friend's for dinner over the festive period and you don't wanna look like the fairy on top of the tree, but you don't, you, you know, it, you wanna look chic and, but you wanna be comfy. And oh, I'm gonna do one if you're actually going out partying. I have no Christmas parties this year. I have said no to everything. I am such a bar humbug. I absolutely, absolutely adore Christmas. Like I am Christmas 
it's you know personified I am already listening to Christmas music I absolutely adore it but I can't be bothered with spending 60 quid on a works do because I'm not a massive drinker I live quite far away from where the works do's were going to be there's a couple of works do's that I've been invited to and I'm just like no can't be asked. just want to stay at home and drink mulled wine and listen to Cliff Richard and yeah that's it so um <laughs> so they won't be things I'll be wearing but the yeah, ideas for things that you could be wearing I'm trying to think of anything else that's happened met somebody at the Hue and Cry concert came over and said I watch you on YouTube I was like oh my god it's a fan and then that was lovely um I, I don't know what her name was she said she was a nurse but I can't remember her name so I'm so sorry but if that was you it was so lovely to meet you and thank you so much for coming and making yourself known and um, I kind of get all overcome when someone comes up to me and I don't really know how to act because I feel a bit like oh my god I don't know what to say <laughs> but it was so lovely so thank you so much right on with Oh shit, oh, so I spilled that out of my drink. God, I can't speak. Um, let me just have a drink of this. I'm also trying to drink two litres of water a day. So if I have to stop the video halfway through and go for a wee, you know why. Um, I just thought it was about time that I did. <laughs> you know, I'm 44, why not start now? Okay, so, first thing, necklace, which, oh, my hair, by the way. <laughs> I dried my hair straight last week for Halloween because I was going to a Halloween party as um, well, what I thought was a sexy witch were actually the, like um, grot bags from the Pink Windmill, do you remember that? <laughs> and my hair looked, but I just haven't done anything with it since I've been caught in rain and all sorts but I need it straight in order to be able to colour it because when it's curly I can't colour it so I'm going to perhaps colour it maybe tonight or tomorrow anyway you need to stay night didn't you? So that's why my hair's like it is. So this is a necklace which I bought today from a Chazza and it's originally from a company called East and it was £1.50 and it's really really nice and it's sort of a five stranded bronzy gold and I just thought that that sort of judge up any old outfit really, wouldn't it? And I think it and it also looks really nice against my skin tone. So, and it's kind of those, it's not quite sequiny, but you know, it sort of catches the light and um, yeah. So I thought that was worth pound fifty. So I bought a lot. And then these are two things that I bought on my charity shop haul from last time that I haven't shown you. So this is a jumper. This was originally from Gap and it's size XL and I think I paid £5 for this and it still had the label on it and it's a sort of, this is like a very very pale pink, it's probably coming up a little bit more beige on camera, um, wrong sort of high neck top, um, it's super duper soft and it's really really lovely so um, yeah and that was a fiver and then this was the other thing that's been lurking in my wardrobe which I haven't shown you yet which is a poncho um, a mustard poncho again it's probably not going to come out very well on screen and this was 9 99 which is a lot but brought with tags and it's got its original price tag on, which is 25 quid. Um, so, and I do love a poncho and I love a bit of mustard. So I will show you a way in which I've styled it up. I've tried, when I tried it on, I've tried to style it with something other than jeans and knee-high boots. Well, I think the knee-high boots are in what I've styled it with, but because they're always on my legs. Um, but yeah, so I tried to kind of start with something that isn't jeans because not everybody enjoys wearing jeans and to be honest, I'm getting a bit sick of wearing my jeans already and it's only bloody November so um, I will show you them and pop them there and then I have had this, oh it's a little bit sexy and it's, it's like an undergarment-y thing, <laughs> undergarment, <laughs> it's like my nan um, and it's just a lacy, I suppose that bit's like a bralette and it's only a size, I think it's only a size 10 you know, but I, I, I can whack my um, tatars into anything, <laughs> UK 10, 
It's M&S. Oh, <laughs> just thrown it on the floor. It's M&S. And it's just really nice. And I thought it would be one of those things. Obviously, I will wear a bra underneath this. But it's kind of one of those things that sometimes you don't want to be able to see bra, but you don't mind if you can see a bit of lace under something. And I just thought, because it's completely like a black vest really there, I thought that'd be a really, really good thing for the winter to wear under things. And I paid £3 for that. And sticking with the underwear nighttime nighttimey theme, I bought a night shirt, which was originally Laura Ashley. It hasn't got the price on it. Um, but I paid £7.50 for that and this was from British Red Cross and it's a night shirt with rose gold sort of, well not sort of stars, stars all over it, little pocket with a bow, felt like a right while you're going and trying on a night shirt in a shop but um, yeah so I loved it, it's a size XL and it it's probably a little bit snug over my bottom, but you know, lots of things are snug over my bottom at the moment. I have had a date through, if any of you have seen my video for, oh god it was ages and ages ago where I mentioned when I fell down the stairs and, and hurt my bum, I've had a date through for a scan for that, so hopefully I'll be able to have something done. Watch this, well don't watch this space, no, I think go in. <laughs> Um, oh, but well, tights for my daughter. Uh, you can't really see them. Like super sparkly. These were one pound twenty-five. Oh, is that showing on the light? Oh my god! Yeah, one pound twenty-five. And little, I think they're M&S. The shop I go to sometimes, the Red Cross sells quite a bit of M&S clothing and H&M clothing. And I just thought that over Christmas, she's had some Doc Martin boots, some like the Chelsea boot style. My gosh, she looks amazing in them. And um, and I just thought that they would be a dead, dead good thing to wear with them over the festive period. Uh, so that's them. And then I bought two jumpers. I saw these on the shelf, on the rack, and they're both, one says small and one's an eight. <laughs> And we laughed and we laughed and then we picked them up and we took them into the changing room. And I just thought, well, I'm just going to try them on because you just never know. And this is the first one. And this is White Company. And it's like a fawny coloured wool jumper. And I paid the grand price of £7. That light's terrible, isn't it? £7 for that. I love the stars around the top and then they go slightly just over the shoulders and I just thought with a pair of jeans that would look really nice if it fits well it's it's snug but we can work with it so <laughs> that gave me the faith to try the next one on which was a, so that's a small white company small and this is a white company size 8 and again this was £7 and this is like a grey sort of irony knit but I was like I'm sure that'll fit me and I took it in and it did fit me and I don't get clothes sizes I really don't because then <laughs> the next thing I tried on which I bought is from White Stuff and it's a dress which isn't I'm not gonna be able to do it any justice at all until I try you on. It's just a tunicky dress with pockets, fits me like a dream, and that's a size 18. So, you know, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, five sizes bigger. So that is five sizes bigger than that, and they both fit me. So, I don't understand. I think maybe that has shrunk in the wash. I think maybe these have been grown and we've met somewhere in the middle but that is definitely you know I'm a 16 proper 16 with muffin tops that are becoming that are overtaking the oven <laughs> and I just don't understand how a size 18 dress fits me beautifully and you know what I, I almost didn't try it on because I thought oh by the way it was £6.50 
oh my god, this light is awful. £6.50. Um, I almost didn't try it on because it is an 18. And then I thought, oh Emma, get over yourself. It doesn't really matter. You're not not trying that on because it's an 8, are you? You're taking that in and that's just as extreme a size than that. But it just feels like, oh my god, it's an 18. And therefore, I am admitting that that's the size I am. Well, actually, so what? You know, I I don't for one minute think that it, it is an 18. But I just think the sizes in clothes are just absolutely ludicrously ridiculous and not to be looked at at all. And that's why I say, and that's why I harp on and say, try stuff on, go through the whole of the rack on in the charity shop and look at all the sizes because you will be amazed what you will fit into and what you won't fit into. You know, I took a size, a pair of sizes, I'm sure, I don't know if there were 16 or 18 trousers in last week, couldn't, literally couldn't get them past my knees. And then you'll take something else in that's a 16 and it will absolutely bury you and the size 8 jumper will fit you. So, you know, the, the sea salt cardigan that I wear all the time, that sort of mustard cardigan, that I think, I don't know, it's here because I've been, oh, that's an 8. You know, that's a size 8 and I wear that all the time and no one ever goes oh Jesus Christ you've squished yourself into that love you know I sometimes feel like I have <laughs> but yeah so just properly properly have a look and see and try everything on and you know even that even I know it sounds really stupid but even the night shirt I tried on because £7.50 is £7.50 you know that's a takeaway, isn't it? That's a chow mein and chips. You shouldn't have a chow mein and chips because the chow mein should be a meal in itself, but who has a chow mein on its own without chips? Um, lots of people. That's why I'm in an 18 stress. <laughs> let's say, let's uh, tell no one and speak no more of. Right, yeah, so just, I'm going to try everything on now and show you. Like I say, the jumpers, I probably will just shove on the jeans just to show you what they look like. Um, but the dress and the poncho and things, I've just got a couple of other ways to wear them, just to give you a few ideas. And I'm going to try the poncho one with a skirt that's quite summery, just to, again, just to give you a little bit of, like, what do I do with these sort of summery skirts that I don't, you know, sometimes we have transitional pieces in our wardrobes that are like, they are summery and they are supposed to be summery but actually you know they can go a, a good way into autumn and maybe even winter if we wear them with the right thing so anyway i'm going to stop waffling and get on with it so i'll see you in a minute so what i've got on here is a white stuff skirt that i bought in a charity shop ages ago not quite sure what size it is i haven't looked i think it might only be a 14 maybe i don't think it's a 16 and it is fitting where it touches and I have had to swear when I pulled it up because it is quite tight, a lot tighter than it was when I bought it, let's say. This top, which I know absolutely doesn't match at all because it's a completely different blue. Again, this was from a charity shop haul and this is from White Stuff as well. But I don't own a plain long sleeved sort of navy top. I'm wearing my navy leggings, again, which were from a charity shop, which are by a brand called Yar Yar, which I've never heard of but apparently they are a thing and I'm just going to in fact let me just whip the labels out of these because they catch in my hair um so I'm just gonna pop this on and show you because I would never ever wear that with that however once we pop this on now the neck on this isn't brilliant it sort of it's just a nothing neck like that. So what I've done, or what I did, was literally just tucked it over like that because I just think that having that tucked in makes the difference. And then I'm just gonna shove on the scarf that I bought a couple of weeks ago from the brand called Powder. Do you remember me showing you with the all the deer on? Look at that, it's just so beautiful. Um, so I'm just, and because that is going to pick up this pink in the skirt, so I'm just going to 
through that around my neck like that so that way it's picking up I've got the mustard of the scarf and I've got the pink of the, the teapot and then I'll probably just shove on I've got a navy bag here with a bit of brown in it because I've got my brown boots on and I think that is a really really nice outfit and I think it just for all I would never wear like I say this top with this skirt but actually because you can only see the sleeve I really don't think it matters as long as it's got the same sort of colorway in it what's picking up on camera is actually a lot brighter when I look in the mirror that's a it, it sort of goes a little bit better but I just think that that all together <laughs> She says, falling over. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a video of mine without me falling over at some point over the bloody stool. Um, but yeah, I just think that that just looks really nice, and it's kind of one of those outfits that you could just shove on if it wasn't too cold a day, and you just were going shopping, or you know when you go into town and you're absolutely roasting because you've got your massive coat on, and then you're in the shopping centre or you're in shops and you're trying stuff on and. Um, you've got bags and stuff, especially the Christmassy time. And you could even put another jumper under this. You could you could put this layer on, and then a jumper, and then this, and then actually he'd be super toasty. And uh, but I just think that that actually looks really really nice because the mustard is picking up the mustard in the skirt, and the pink is picking up the pink in the skirt. And it's just another way of it's just a way of not wearing black all the time. And I think sometimes wearing black with these kind of colours it just flattens them completely and I just think wearing them wearing colour with colour I've said it before I just think it kind of I just think it works better and I think it looks nicer so so that's that outfit which I just I do really really like I could probably do with you know reining it in a little bit on the old uh, cake in order to wear this skirt for any length of time but I do I do really like it and I think this would go you know if I'd got a pair of sort of jazzy tights on as well with a bit of pink in them you know like cerise or navy tights with a pink spot or something like that something jazzy white stuff are brilliant for tights in the winter the, um, I, I really like their tights and Primark used to have some really good tights and I don't know whether they still do so much um, over the Christmas E period, they sort of have spotty tights and things, but they tend to be a bit more muted in their colours. But white stuff have some brilliant um, coloured tights in. So yeah, and like I say, these are just leggings. So if you've just got an old pair of leggings, I find it really difficult to wear these leggings with anything that isn't a knee high boot because they've got a cuff on the bottom, and I don't like them. They're not just a straight down legging with a, a seam like normal. They I suppose they're more of like an aerobic -y type legging with a, with a proper cuff on the bottom and I think they look ridiculous if I'm not wearing, if, if that isn't covered so and hence why I will always wear my knee high boots if I've got these leggings on or a boot that will sort of cover the cuff bit which, the cuff bit, um, which I've only got knee high boots that cover the cuff bit so <laughs> try saying that when you're on a drink, <laughs> knee high boots that cover the cuff bit, anyway um, I'll try on the next piece now. So this is the other jumper. Now the neck is supposed to be like that and I don't, really, I don't really think it does a great deal for me being like that. So again, what I've done is just turned it in on itself like that and I just think it gives it a little bit of a cleaner edge rather than turning it over like a polar neck. I just think that that looks a little bit nicer and a little bit neater. Um, I've just, I've kept my leggings on, I just wanted, I mean obviously these are my leggings and my knee high boots, I wouldn't wear it like that, but by adding, this is a sun top, it's a long vest that I had last year from um, a charity shop, again it's a size 10, it's top shop, and I just want to show you how adding an extra layer means that you don't have to wear sort of um lots and lots of layers so what i'm going to do i've just i've got this top and i'm literally just going to and you could either turn it over and tuck it in or i'm just kind of going to leave it like that around the top just to sort of show you so there's the armholes there 
and then that way it almost becomes a little bit of a skirt and it just means that you've kind of got that extra layer I've picked up the colour of the grey in there um, and then if I was to put my coat on so this is my ASOS coat that I had from the charity shop a few weeks ago and I love because the short the sleeves on this jacket are quite short so I love that I've got sort of a length of a sleeve to pull down so that I just think looks really really nice and I love the pink and the green and the winter white I just think it looks really cozy and really nice but I'm not too bulky I'm not uncomfortable because I'm not in jeans you know I've got my leggings on but I'm well covered and I just think that's like a really handy little bit of um, knowledge to have really just to say if you've got an old vest or even a new vest just use it as as literally just a little skirt and make it so that you, you've just got because vests this length are really hard to come by um, but Primark did them a few years ago I don't know if they still do but um, yeah so I but I just think that that actually looks really nice I cannot get this camera angle right I'm just gonna have to mess with the camera angle again so um, yeah and I think that that it just really really makes the difference and like I say any coat that you've got that's got sort of short sleeves if you've got a longer jumper underneath it just makes it look like you've got those sort of wristy warmery things on and I just think that that looks really cozy kind of outfit to wear and oh my god when my hat's done throw that in my pocket <laughs> when my hat's made and I've got navy on pom pom on the top that'll be ace oh that goes ace i can't wait to wear that that color makes my eyes look really blue who knew anyway so um oh the woman in the wool shop made me look like a right wally because i didn't know if i needed super chunky or chunky or and i bought three rolls of super chunky in three different colors and then two balls of something else in another color and at first she said well they're not the same color dye so we need to go and sort that out so she walked off and changed that and then she come back and she was like do you want super chunky or do you want chunky because you've got both and i was like i don't really know and she said well if you if your pattern says super chunky and you're using chunky it's going to be completely wrong or vice versa so we ended up having to get the pattern up on my phone show it and then she's like no you need chunky not super chunky so all these that you've got are wrong and like frog barked me back to all the the wall and made me choose all the colors and then i was i felt like a naughty school child <laughs> But I think she loved her job. <laughs> so, yeah, so doesn't I, I really like that. Just as a dead sort of casual outfit, I think that that would be really nice. And then I'm going to try you on my, um, my white... Oh, no, I'll try the dress on. So that's the white stuff dress. So this is the dress that's the 18. Just got a little bit of sort of gathered at the back there pockets it's like a greeny color but then just at the bottom there it's kind of blue and green so i can get away with wearing it with my blue leggings and then i've got my new necklace on with it which i think just looks lovely so i just think i mean it suppose it says spring is sprung i think in the back of the dress so obviously it's supposed to be springy but I think it's quite I think it could be quite wintry um, and I've got if I can find it like my navy cardigan which again I know there's no navy in the dress apart from that bottom bit but I just think that that together <laughs> that together like that just looks really nice and again it's just one of those outfits that's dead easy to throw on it's like it's school run outfit it's PTA meeting not that I go to them um it's do you know what I mean it's just running running errands dress it's dead dead comfy it's going around to your mates for a drink because it's so comfy but it's actually it's really nice as well 
Um, and I even tried it on, although I know this sounds ridiculous, with my mustard cardigan. Because this cardigan is, it's, I think it's classed in the, in the online as like a, something green. So even though I think it looks mustard, when it's put with green, it actually makes it look quite green. So I think you could even get away with that because it sort of brings out the green in the cardigan and because this is goldy and it's goldy and I just think that that looks really nice together as well and then I've also got you know I've got my big coat and when the big coat's on because it's green I think that that looks nice and then if I add in where's my bag if I add in my blue bag I've got blue leggings and a little bit of blue around the bottom of the dress. Green coat to pick up the green and then the blue. So I think that that looks really, really nice as well. I know I wouldn't wear it out live, but I just wanted to show you this. It's just lovely. It's that Marks and Spencers thing. It's a little bit see-through, but I'm not going to be wearing it on its own. But I just think it's, it's really lovely. I just think it's going to be brilliant staple in my wardrobe um try this on white company jumper so you might be able to see this black underneath it actually i never thought yeah you probably will oh bear in mind this is an eight Uh, that, does that look like an eight? I don't think so. But I think, oh, these are them jeans I can't bend in. But I do love them. And I've got these on with my black sort of Doc Martin boots. And just think that that is just a really, really nice outfit. Obviously, I wouldn't have the black on underneath it. I'd wear a little white vest under it or something. But even if I wanted to do that whole sort of front tuck thing that I do, I just and it's got the pattern on the back as well, which I think looks really nice. Um, so yeah, and I just sorry, farting about um, trying on wearing it with a jumper because it's quite slim fitting you know you can wear it under and the sleeves are nice and long so I just think that that on its own I just think that's really really nice and it's lovely stuff it's cotton so it's quite stretchy which I think is probably it's saving grace because uh, there's no way that's an eight um, but yeah again that's kind of a you know a bonfire nighty type of outfit isn't it um, so yeah love 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 that and I'll try you on the star jumper oh come roasting mind you I've got the heating on husband's sitting around in shorts going it's bloody freezing in this house I've put bloody shit bloody clothes on then <laughs> but hey Now we have the star jumper, which again, I know before you all comment, oh, it's too tight. I know it's tight, but I love, I love that pattern. And I just think that it's one of those jumpers that actually, I just think it looks really nice. And I think I could wear this with a white shirt underneath it and, you know, have the shirt out at the bottom so that it was a little bit, you know, if I wanted to make it a little bit not so figure hugging. Um, I've actually got a furry gilet, which I was thinking might go nice over the top of it because it's a thin little jumper. So that would probably look 
quite nice with it as well. I think I probably need something a little bit longer. I feel a bit short and a bit exposed. I'm going to try and find a shirt or something to put on with it. So what I've done with that is I've literally just put a little shirt underneath it. It's the shirt that I bought a couple of weeks ago and it's the um, one from Next. Because it's that little bit longer at the back, I think sometimes if things are a little bit snug, you can kind of get away with them by popping on something like that. And also, what this would probably look really nice under is my tweed jacket that I bought. If I just grab my tweed jacket, uh, same, hmm, I don't know whether the colour will be right. But just to sort of, actually, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Um, again, if I use my blue bag, I've got black boots on, but that doesn't matter. I'd wear my knee-high boots with that. Yeah, and I think because it's a smaller jumper, I think layering it makes it look a little bit better because you can ruche it up a little bit then without it feeling like it's too short. And then you can fit your jackets over the top because it's such a, it's a slimmer fitting jumper. And sometimes if we have really big oversized jumpers on, you can't fit your jackets over the top. But I think actually that looks quite nice and I would probably wear it like that and it actually feels a little bit less. You know when I wore this jacket last time and I said I felt like I, you know, I was off to the local hunt and that's very much how it made me feel. Well, actually wearing it like this doesn't make me feel like that. It kind of makes me feel a little bit more um, modern with it because I think I absolutely love this jacket and I want to get the most out of it but I don't want to continually look like I've lost my Land Rover um, and my black, my chocolate Labrador. <laughs> so, um, oh dear God, I can't get, honestly, these jeans, I do love them, but I struggle. So yeah, I would, I'd swap these out for brown boots, probably. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'd, mind oh, have I got a black bag? I haven't got a black bag. I have mustard, let me try my mustard bag. Because then I can keep my black boots on, because I do actually quite like it with the black boots. And also, I think, the black boot gives it almost an edgier look rather than wearing the knee-high brown boot which looks very country. I think wearing the Doc Martens sort of gives it a bit more of an edge if you can look like you've got an edge when you're wearing a tweed jacket. Um, but yeah, I think that actually that looks really nice and I'm really pleased with that jumper and I do think it looks... I do think I'll get lots of wear out of it, although, like I say, I know that it is it is probably a little bit too small, but I love the colour and I love the stars, and if I was wearing my hair up and you could see all the stars on it, then I think that looks really, really nice. And I've also got a fur gilet as well, which I could wear with it. Um, and again, because you've got that little bit of something at the back, rather than it just being the jumper and then that and then nothing and just the jeans, I actually think because it's just got a little bit of something at the back, it makes it look a little bit better. Um, and that again is, is an outfit that I would easily, happily wear, um, again with my black boots as opposed to my brown, because I just think, again, it just makes it look a little bit less like I've just stepped out of Country Living magazine, which I have felt like when I've worn my tweed jacket. So yeah, so I think all together I'm really, really pleased with what I've bought and I hope that by showing you some other ways to wear stuff and I hope that I'm giving you a few ideas. I hope you're all going to download the app, not download the app, download the pattern, make yourselves a hat. If you do, tag me in it, let me know. Um, but yeah, so that is really all for this video. I'm sorry if it's been a long one again. I will 
we'll get something uploaded really soon, I hope. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for your patience with me not uploading as often as I would really like to. And I know that it's probably having a bearing on the amount of subscribers and things I've got because there are all other channels that are flying. Um, but, you know, they're able to upload three and four times a week and I just I just can't commit to that. Um, but I'm sure you all understand the reasons why and the mummies of Cheshire and their babies are slightly more important <laughs> so yeah so thank you again so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you are new here and i promise that really soon i will be doing a day in the life i will be doing wintery christmasy outfits i'll be doing what i eat in a day come shopping with me i'll all kinds so i promise i will get my arse into gear and get my act together really really soon all right so thank you so much for watching and take care guys and i'll see you all soon lots of love bye